everybody, welcome! My name is Phoenix and today I'm going to be talking about the movie called Christopher Robin. So my dad took me to go see this movie because it was one of his favorite cartoons when he was my age. And overall I thought this movie was pretty good um, because there were like really tiny sad parts. This movie had some funny parts and there was no scary parts. And this movie had no bad language, obviously, since this is a kid's movie. Now, my daddy thought this movie was just okay. But that's because it was really similar to Hook, that Peter Pan movie. And it was not nearly as good. Also, he'd like to see something more original. But he did really like how they showed all the characters and how they did a really good job on like Winnie the Pooh because it was really close of how he remembered it when he was my age. My daddy also really liked how there were a bunch of references from the old cartoon movies like The Sticks Under the Bridge, Tigger's Song, Eeyore's Tail Keeps Falling Off, Pooh's Always Trying to Get Honey, and the red balloon, and there's a whole bunch more that I can't remember right now. So basically this movie is about Christopher Robin who has to leave um, Hundred Acre Woods and Pooh and his stuffed animals behind so he can go to school. And then when he grows up, he forgets all about Pooh and his friends and Hundred Acre Woods. So one day Pooh wakes up and can't find Piglet, Owl, um, Tigger, Eeyore, so he goes um, looking for Christopher Robin, thinking that he might be able to help find him. And then Pooh ends up in London, and that's where all the funny parts come in. So I really like the message of this story because it teaches you where your mommies and daddies shouldn't have to work so hard that they have to neglect their families or at least not like spend time with you or play with you or anything like that. I also like how each of the stuffed animals have like their own personality and philosophy in life. Like Pooh is always like go with the flow and like whatever happens, happens. And I'm just going to enjoy the life that I have. And then Piglet is always like so nervous and worried all the time. And Owl is like super smart. And Rabbit is like clean and like everything has to be perfect. And, um, hmm. oh, Tigger is always like competitive in action and like wants to win all the time. And then Eeyore is always like so negative and like so like gray all the time like yeah so overall I thought that if you were a kid you were going to like this movie if you were an adult who's seen all the other Winnie the Pooh movies then you are also going to like this movie but if you've seen Hook you probably won't like this movie as much so yeah it's pretty much the end of my review for the movie called Christopher Robin thank you for watching I'll see you next time goodbye everybody TTFN, ta-ta for now. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo!